Hey gang, Scott here. In this video, we'll talk about the Composition AI tool in Luminar AI. Walk through this tool, what it's doing, the various buttons and sliders that are in there, and how you can use it on your photos. Really quick, if you're thinking about adding Luminar AI to your toolkit, check the show notes. Links down there will not cost you anything extra. Give me a little bit of support. There's an offer code down there too. might save you a little money. So let's have a look at Composition AI. Once you brought a photo into the edit module, in the Essentials tool group, we have Composition AI right at the top. This is our crop tool, you know, classic crop tool. We have our crop controls, we have the handles, we can move the photo in and around, or we can start by using the Composition AI button. Click it once, and Luminar AI looks at your scene, figures out the elements there, and suggests a crop. And in this one, it did a good job. It got rid of some of the, uh, a little bit heavy on the sky there, and put this scrub down on the third. It kept this nice little accent, this little sweep of land here. And of course, if I disagree with the AI or I want to fine tune it, I still have that control. Of course, there's a lot more we can do in Composition AI. It is a classic crop tool. It also deals with perspective correction for verticals and horizontals. Let's go through the rest of the options in this tool so you know how they all work. Let's reset the tool. And first we have a few things in the aspect ratio. We can choose a uh, free form crop, different aspect ratios. Notice as I choose a different aspect ratio, anything other than the original, the composition AI button is disabled. So you're deciding on a particular crop, composition AI is gonna say, well, all right, you're taking control, I'll back off and you know, disappear into the background. So if you want to do some type of composition AI, you know, use your original there. Uh, this little button here is a shortcut for transposed. If you have a two by three like I do here, this will give me a three by two crop. And that is all the different aspect ratios you have in there. There's some helpful ones for things like you know Facebook covers. And of course you can enter your own custom value as well. We have perspective corrections. We can do some auto leveling here. I'll click the horizontal one because this is a landscape and a little slight tweak. We have options to rotate it. So we can rotate the photo, you know, a full 360 degrees. We can flip it horizontally and vertically. And we also have 3D transforms. Now these are when you have your camera at an angle to a subject where you're pointing the camera upward or downward. And there's some sort of perspective shift in the vertical or horizontal. So here I can adjust the vertical perspective, you know, tilting upward or downward. And honestly, less is more with these sliders, very slight shifts, but you can see that the, the tool is doing stretching and, and bending to try to keep things uh, relatively proportional. Horizontal works the same way if we're tilting one way or another, and you can see that the middle is kind of your pivot point. So I push positive, the right side is coming closer to me. I cross that zero point. Now the left side is coming toward me as I move to the negative direction. And then we can stretch and squeeze with the aspect ratio. We can stretch it vertically or we can stretch it horizontally, depending on what you may need to do with the photo. So those are your various 3D transforms. So all added up, that is Composition AI. Check it out. Try out that Composition AI button. It does do an admirable job of giving you a very good crop suggestion right out of the shoot. And then you can always fine tune it with the other controls. Got any questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.